I'm Paul Schwotzer. I've been here at First Kong about 30 years. I, I came over from First Pres because my good friends Luke Kamek and Kimberly Acker were married in this church. Then they started to attend here and uh, I followed on a year or two later. So Jim White was pastor and we all know and love Jim and he's, uh, he's really a complete person. He's, he's such a, he was such a great pastor. His sermons were so moving. The way he would come out to the center of the chancel and speak from his heart. And um, so then uh, in 2005, Jim retired. There was a huge event and uh, the, we had a Saturday night party at the, the, the old Red Lion, I think it was, down on South Circle. Hundreds of people showed up and then church the next morning was so well attended. There was so much music. I'm sure it lasted at least an hour and a half just as Jim's final uh, farewell Sunday. So then, as is custom, uh, we had an interim pastor and that's the time when the uh, search committee gets together and searches for a new minister. So back up about five years to 2000, this young couple, uh, Benjamin Broadbent and Brooke Bell, shows up at our church and um, Benjamin is hired as the associate slash youth minister at First Kong. And so we got to know them in, in those years and they started to have their uh, two children, um, Marin and Sophia. So again, Jim retires in 2005. Benjamin is the associate. Well, about a year and a half later, maybe end of 2006 or 2007, I'm not sure the details, but the search committee completed their, their task. And so it was announced that on Sunday, the new minister would be presented to the church. So um, th this, is, this fits in the category of one of my favorite memories, just because it was so powerful. And again, you know, we had all gotten to, to love the Broadbent Bell family. So I believe it was Nancy Hengem was on the committee. And uh, at the end of the service, um, she got up to preside over the announcement. Now, of course, the ministers, the, the, the um, transitional or the interim pastor was there on the chancel and Benjamin in his role as associate was there sitting at the side of the chancel in his white robe. So Nancy mentions or discusses the process uh, that they've been through to um, search for a new lead minister. And then she says, we are fortunate that he's able to be here with us this morning. <laughs> and so um, this is how powerful it was. And I remember exactly where I was sitting. And she says, uh, at this time, I'd like to ask our new lead minister to come forward. And uh, so she steps aside. You could hear a pin drop. Very long pause. Then from his place on the chancel, Benjamin stands up and walks to the center. And the entire church just jumps to their feet and starts yelling and uh, we're not yelling, just clapping and, and cheering. And uh, wow, that was a very, very special moment for me and I think a lot of people. And um, we, I'm sure we applauded for at least a, a couple of minutes just uh, because we were so excited and so in agreement, I guess, that um, of, our, of our choice. And so again, that was about 2007 and we know that Benjamin went on to um, lead our church, I believe through some, some very good years until um, he left in 2016 to move back to California. So that's my um, memory. And I suspect a lot of people who were there will also remember that moment um, because 
um, in the life of our church, it was a very big moment.